What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mix here, and today I bring you this champion. That's right, um, this is Gaia the Branded Champion, uh, a Gaia the Dragon Champion deck profile mixed with Branded Fusion and uh, the Branded Fusion Monsters. But uh, before we get started, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's get started off with the monsters. All right, here we are with the monsters. First, I play triple artillery catapult turtle. Uh, this one, you you contribute itself for a monster, then special summon one Gaia the Magical Knight monster on one level five or higher um, dragon monster. Um, basically, you need three of. It's a great starter card. And you know, it's a great retrain of catapult turtle, you know, one of Yugi's iconic monsters. Then we play Triple Gaia, the Magical Knight. Um, I know I am missing one. Uh, I thought I had a third one, and my locals didn't have any either. This card's hard to find for some reason, but nonetheless, you should play three. Um, when you control no monsters, you can normal summon it. Then when it's uh, normal or special summoned, you can special summon pretty much Curse of Dragon from your hand or Graveyard, because that's, that's basically what you summon. You know, it's another great starter card. It's your main... Um, combo initiator so you have to play three and it's a light uh, target so you know it's good for all the brand infusion shenanigans then we play triple curse of dragon the curse of dragon your main searcher and when this card is no more special summon you can search a spell or trap card that specifically lists Gaia the dragon champion then if this card is sent to the graveyard, I can target one Gaia the Dragon Champion I control and negate all the effects of my opponent controls with less attack than the Gaia the Dragon Champion I chose until the end of the turn. So it's a nice little uh, effect negation, but it's your main searcher and it's your main fusion target. Then because this is branded champion, we play triple the Fallen of Albat right you know in every uh, branded deck you gotta play three so yeah you know it's a it's a it's a dragon number one which uh, works alongside um, Gaia the dragon champion because Gaia the dragon champion it's one Gaia monster and one dragon monster so there you go it's a dragon number two it's um it's great going second this is going second deck probably should mention that so you know you can just fuse away your opponent's monsters and um surprisingly this deck has a lot of synergy together because you can not only make branded monsters you can make guy monsters which is amazing then we play your standard hat trap triple ash blossom don't have to say anything about this card this card needs to be reprinted more period then we play double guy the fierce knight origin uh, play two, uh, you can discard one level five or higher monster from your hand to special summon it. Then it can be treated as two uh, tributes for a normal summon of a Gaia the Dragon Champion monster. Then in the grave, you can banish it and any monster that's attack that is different, it goes back to its normal attack. So the fusion, um, Gaia the Magical Knight of Dragons, you can make it lose 2600 attack and then destroy a card in the field then with this you can banish it from the graveyard and gaia the magical knight of dragons effect or attack i should say goes back to normal because its attack is different so it reverts it back to you know his regular attack which is nice you know so you can use the effect up to twice per turn which is which is amazing especially this also it works on your opponent so if your opponent has a monster that's buffed up you can just banish that and you know it returns to its regular attack then the last two one gaia soldier guy the fierce knight uh i play one of these because believe it or not you says just tribute a dragon fusion monster and most if not all branded monsters are dragon so you can activate the effect of 
Albion to fuse. You chain this, you tribute the Albion, summon this, and then fuse from the graveyard, which is nice, so you have another body on board. But that's basically what it is, and it's also an OTK enabler. Just, you know, attack, attack, effect, tribute, attack. And then you contribute itself to pretty much search this. Um, that doesn't come up too much because we have a lot of ways to search it. But it's a nice little effect. Then last but not least, one effect failure. Just to, uh, you know, add that little extra negate in the hands. But yeah, these are the monsters. Let's move on to the spells. All right, here we are with the spells. Obviously, it's a fusion deck. So we play triple spiral fusion. Um, when, few, when summoning a Gaia the Dragon Champion, it gains... 2600 attack and it can make up to two attacks on monsters during the battle phase this can also be used to summon branded monsters so it's effectively a polymerization because it says fusion summon one dragon fusion monster so you can use this effectively to uh summon a, a branded monster and then with the new um fusion support curse of dragon the magical dragon which allows you to banish from the graveyard you can effectively use your spiral fusion as a branded miracle fusion to um, banish your monsters from the grave which is amazing like i said this deck has a lot of synergy now this wouldn't be a branded few a brand fusion deck without branded fusion everybody knows what this does you send uh fusion monsters from your deck to special summon uh, Brandon monster and because this is a fusion deck the restriction doesn't hurt us and It's a very powerful card. So, you know Again, you can uh, you can make Albion and then make a Gaia monster from the from the graveyard Which is amazing. I'm telling you this deck has a lot of synergy then the field spells triple galloping Gaia This card is very important. It's one of your main searchers so you can either reveal a Gaia monster or a dragon monster and then add the opposite. So if you reveal a Gaia, you can add a Curse of Dragon. If you reveal Curse of Dragon, you can add a Gaia. Then when your uh, monster attacks, your opponent cannot activate anything during the battle phase, which is amazing. Then in tandem, we play Triple Gateway to Chaos. When this card is activated, you can add a, a warrior monster from your deck to your hand. So uh, you activate, if you open these two, it's awesome because you activate this, you search Guy the Magical Knight, then you activate this, reveal Guy the Magical Knight, then search Curse of Dragon, then you can start your playoff. Um, so we need those two field spells. Then we also play two Return of the Dragon Lords. It is a dragon deck after all. So uh, we need some revival and protection because the Guy the Dragon Champion is a dragon. And also all the branded monsters are dragons, which is amazing. Then for the one ofs one spiral spear strike uh definitely a lot of ways to search this and it's a nice draw and it makes all your guy the dragon champions in fact piercing one branded lost um pretty much it's a fusion deck so we got to play it to let our fusions go through one terraforming our field spells are very important one set rotation uh you give gateway of chaos to your opponent then they are locked out from their field spell zone because they cannot activate it. Because one of the activation requirements is to add a warrior type monster from their deck. And if they don't have one, then they can't activate it and it just stays face down. Which is which is a nice little lock. And then one Harpy's Feather Duster to round off the spells. Uh, yeah, these are all the spells. Let's move on to the traps. Alright, here we are with the traps. Triple Infinite Impermanence. That's it. One of the best, if not the best, trap card in the game because it is a literal hand trap. Uh, nothing more you have to say. Let's move on to the extra deck, shall we? Okay, here is the extra deck. First, we play two Gaia the Magical Knight of Dragons. Uh, this one, you can make it lose exactly 2600 attack and you can destroy a card on the field. Uh, when this card attacks and destroys a monster, it gains 2600 attack. So it kind of replenishes itself. And uh, the popping effect is a quick effect. And it is one guy, the Fierce Nine monster, and one level five 
dragon monster. So for the level five dragon monster, it has to be exactly Curse of Dragon, but that's fine because we also played this. Two Curse of Dragon, the Magical Knight. Uh, this one is one warrior monster and one level five or higher dragon monster, which is uh, nice because all the branded cards are uh, level five or higher. And um, when this card is summoned, you can add one spell card that lists Gaia the Dragon Champion. And then also when this card is on the field, if you will fusion summon a dragon monster, you can banish cards from the graveyard, which effectively making Spiral Fusion a Dragon's Mirror, you know? So you don't even need Dragon's Mirror, which is amazing. Uh, Miracle Fusion as well. So that's uh, that's another reason why we play this. Then, let's, then we play Sky Galloping. Gaia, the dragon champion. Um, when he summon, he can search Spiral Spear Strike. And then when you attack, you can switch the attack of the battle position of the monster attacking. And it does piercing damage. Um, we don't really go into this, you know, you can. You mainly go into him, but you know, it's just nice to have that little extra damage. And in case you, you know, you run out of Gaia monsters as well, he's a really good option. Then for the Albaz monsters, we play one Alba Lenatus the, Alba, the Abyss Dragon. So this is one Fallen of Albaz and one Dragon Monster. Um, we play him to send him to the graveyard for Mirror Jade's effect because when he's sent to the graveyard, you can add one Fusion spell card, which means either Branded Fusion or Spiral Fusion. So it's a, effectively a searcher for Spiral Fusion as well, which is awesome. Then we play one Titanic Light the Ash Dragon. Um, just, you know, if you play, uh, um, Fallen of Albaz, you need to play every single out. Then one, Brigand, the Glory Dragon. Then here we play, Triple Albion, the Branded Dragon. Triple, that's right, and this one is one Fallen of Albaz and one Light Monster. So when you activate Branded Fusion, you can send Gaia, the Magical Knight, to the Grave. And then also, this says, if this card is Fusion Summon, you can Fusion Summon one level 8 or lower Fusion Mon from your extra deck. So, effectively, you can summon this and summon Gaia the Magical Knight or any of the Gaia monsters because it just says level 8 or lower Fusion Monster and Gaia the Magical Knight is 7, which is amazing. That's why this deck has so much synergy with any Fusion deck, really. But it's just, you know, it, it gives a nice little power boost to the casual decks. Then we play Double Lubelion, the Searing Dragon. And uh, this is, we play double of these because it's effectively the same thing as Albion. So once you use Albion and your monsters are banished, you can use this and shuffle your banished monsters back and summon another Gaia or obviously another Branded. But usually you want to go into this big bad here. Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon. It's an, uh, if you have both of these on, flo on the field, which is what you want to do. You have a pop and you have a banish. So it's kind of hard to get over this and it's awesome. And then when you send this, you can either send Albion the Branded to get Branded Fusion at the end of the turn or Albion the Abyss Dragon to get a Spiral Fusion. Um, so yeah, again, this deck has a lot of synergy. It's a lot of fun. You effectively make Spiral Fusion a uh, Dragon's Mirror with this on the field, with the Magical on the field to make literally anything. Um, but yeah, I, go, I hope you guys like the deck profile. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And now I have some dual videos for you guys. So enjoy.